Hi everybody, my name is Robin Beatty, and I'm a teaching artist with Flushing Town Hall, where we believe global arts for global kids. Well, I'm a storyteller, and I don't know about you, but I'm getting a lot of stories from this quarantine. As a matter of fact, here's one. Now, I live at home with my husband, Tom, and our beautiful Siamese cat, Inanna Queen of Heaven and Earth, whom we call Nani for short, because she already thinks she is queen of everything, including us, the house, and everyone in the neighborhood. Well, it's just the three of us, and, and that's fine. We get along very well, but it's a long time that it's been just the three of us. I mean, Tom and I go out for walks and we see our neighbors, but we miss our family too. I mean, our family is far away. Even if they're just across New York City, out in Staten Island or in the Bronx, they're far away and we can't see them like we used to see them. Well, this all came to a head when, well, Passover came. You know, this whole thing started when Easter and Passover and Ramadan and, and lots of other holidays had begun. Now in Passover, we're Jewish, in Passover, it, the whole family gets together, you sit down for an enormous meal and you have a service that you conduct um, during the, before the meal, during the meal, and after the meal. In my family, that's almost 35, close to 40 people. So we need to be together. I mean, and when we get together in one place, it's once a year, for goodness sake. It's wonderful, it's joyous, it's the only time we all see each other. Problem is that a lot of times everybody can't come, but then we have the phone calls, so we're still all connected together. But what are we gonna do this year? We can't get together. We are social distancing. Well, I called my cousin, Karen, who had just spoken to her sister, Julie, who had just spoken to another cousin, Kevin. What are we going to do? We made a, a call, a Zoom call, as many people are doing these days, and we discussed how are we going to have a holiday when nobody could be together? How are we going to make the foods, the traditional foods? How are we going to share the wine and, and, and bake the, 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 the cookies and, and the cakes that, of course, have no, you know, anything rising in it? So, I mean, how are we going to do it? Well, as we talked, an idea came. Let's do it on Zoom. Well, first I thought that was crazy. It was gonna be bad enough that we wouldn't see each other. But Karen pushed, let's do it on Zoom. And not only that, we can, we can invite Lisa, who's in California, and Jonathan, it's Germany. And we can invite Wendy, who's in England. And, and pretty soon, we had a plan. And everybody who was coming, well, each family that was coming, because we have about 10 families now. It's a, it's a cousins group. It's all cousins and cousins' children and even some cousins' grandchildren. We all get together, and, but it's really, we can group ourselves and every family member would get, every family would get a part. And so when the time came, everybody logged on to Zoom. And there we were, there were about 60 people. We had not all been together and I can't even, well, I can't even think of how many years. I can't remember the last time, maybe when my grandfather ran the Seder was the last time we were all together. And it was amazing. I mean, somebody, I, I think it was Harry did, you know, opened up the service and, and Julie's daughter, um, Berta, she was the one who lit the candles and then somebody did all the blessings and someone described the, the Seder played on and on and on. Everybody took a part, everybody had a role and I ended it. I pulled out my guitar and I told everyone, now remember I had sent you um, song sheets, pull them out. And we all sang the songs that we 
have traditionally for the past 40, maybe 50 years, oh, hey, 60 years, I remember, 60 years we've been singing these songs as we end the Seder. And even though we didn't get to eat together, and though me and Tom and Anana, all we had from the Passover um, Seder meal was matzah, and we had some horseradish, and we did have some gefilte fish, but that was about it. We all said good night, happy. And you know, though it wasn't the Seder we had planned for, in a way it was even better because more of us were able to come. And no matter how far we were or how many social distance miles we were separated by, we were all together. Now, I wonder what story you have. Think, what holidays or, or, or birthdays or other important ceremonial events were you not able to, to celebrate with your whole family or all your friends? And how did you solve that problem? There's a story in it. So find that story and tell it to somebody as soon as we leave each other's presence. Thank you.